This is a battery pack assembly kit for the 18650 lithium ion cell. This product is made by Green Golden Electric Motors manufacturers, having the brand name Fuzen. This product is 100% made in India in support of the government policy of the Make in India program. The instructions given at the back of the box illustrate the entire process in detail step by step. We shall be going over these steps in the video, but before that I will describe the contents of the box. What you get in the box are a hundred of these terminal caps. These terminal caps have specially designed grooves on all four sides along with an extended collar to support the cell when placed inside. Also in the terminal cap the internal contact has already been placed in for your convenience. Just in case if the contact were to fall off in the box place it back inside with the bolt side facing down. Along with the hundred terminal caps that come in the box you get 55 of these bus bars to make your series and parallel connections. Along with 55 bus bars, you get six of these U-clamps. Now these U-clamps have been specially designed to make your positive and negative connections once your pack is done. Furthermore, you get a hundred of these nuts to secure your series and parallel connections onto the cap. You use the bus bar to place it on the terminal cap and you use the nut to make your series and parallel connections and secure the entire construction. In addition to all of this, you get tie belts to secure the entire pack once you are done making it. The tie belts ensure that if the vehicle were to be driven on a rough terrain, the pack would not come undone. Now, before you construct your battery pack, take into consideration the capacity of the cell you have and the capacity of the pack you need to construct. For example, this is a 3.7 volt 2600 milliamp hour cell and if I need to construct a 48 volt 7.8 ampere hour battery pack then I'm going to require 13 like these in series and 3 such rows. So I'm going to require 39 cells and 78 caps. The reason being that each cap goes on one side of the cell or rather on each terminal of the cell like this. Now when you're placing the cap onto the cell or rather the cell into the cap any which ways you may realize that the cell goes in really really very tight and that's exactly how it's supposed to be so that the entire setup is secure and firm. Now in order to attach these caps as I said you need to attach 13 of these in series and make three such rows. Just keep in mind to maintain the same interlocking pattern like there's a bulge out here and a cavity on the opposite side. So maintain the same pattern throughout. This way it becomes really very easy to interconnect or rather, at or rather attach the multiple rows. Now notice how the pattern is absolutely uniform on each side. This way, when I attach multiple rows, it becomes really very convenient. Like out here, I've already constructed three rows as per our requirement and the groove pattern on each side for each row is absolutely uniform. This way, if I were to attach all three of these together, it becomes extremely simple, like this. Partially attach them, not all the way down, then turn them over or flip them over and just press it. That's it. You got two rows. We need one more to go. Once more, place it slightly above onto the edge and press it down a bit so that the grooves interconnect or interlock. Like this. Once done, flip it over and press it. You see how sturdy and firm it is. It's got a flexibility to it but it's extremely strong at the same time and it won't snap open. This way, we need to make it. We need to make one more like this to go on the opposite side. Like this one. I've already made this one. And for your reference, I've even done the connections out here. I will be showing you the connections on this one. But this is just to show you how the series and parallel connections are done using the bus bars, the nuts, and the U-clamp interconnecting strip which I had mentioned earlier on so that you can 
clamp on your wire, your positive or your negative wire, then solder it and use it. I'll show you at the end of the video how exactly that's supposed to be done. Now the tools that you are going to require to make your series and parallel connections and to secure the bus bars onto the caps using the nuts are either use an electric gun or the spanner, either which ways the front adapter is supposed to be of size 5.5 mm because that's the size of the nut that we've provided you with. That's really very easy to make your connections. I've already made a partial connection out here. I'll show you how to make the terminal connection. Use the bus bar first and then use the terminal clamp or the U-clamp and secure it using nuts. Now, I'll give you a demonstration with both. First with the gun. with the spanner that's it that's how simple it is and just go ahead and tighten all of the nuts for the entire battery pack like I have attached the nuts out here put the nuts on but these aren't tight so I'll just do that When you are done doing this, what you will end up with is something like this, when your entire connection is complete. Now take your cell and place it into the catch, this way. The cell will go in a bit tight but that's as I told you, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. You see how firmly and upright this stand, they aren't bending, they aren't listing on each other, nothing. They stand absolutely firmly upright and they won't fall. That's how firm and tight the grip is. So I already have a pack out here ready. That's how this looks. I've already done my connections. And even with the cells, even with the cells, the pack's got a flexibility to it, but it's really very strong. And look at the grip. I'm not holding on to the cells. The grip is that strong. Now, use the other bar which we made with all the connections in place and place it right on top. We'll have to adjust them a bit. That's it. And press it. And just make sure that all the cells are connected. Yep. Now, in order to level the pack, take a wooden piece and a hammer and level the pack. The entire pack is now level on both the sides. Now take your multimeter and check the voltage. Now it may so happen in a really very rare scenario that the multimeter may not show a voltage. In such a case, all you've got to do is press down a bit further and check again. That's about it. Once your multimeter shows the voltage, all you've got to do to be double sure that each and every cell is connected inside. What I personally like to do to be double sure is that I place my pack this way, I take the multimeter and I check each cell by placing it on the terminal and I check for the voltage. Once that's done, one, once each and every cell shows you your voltage, that means all the cells are internally connected and your pack is firm and secure. Look at the strength. It won't fall off no matter how much you shake it, bend it, drop it. It's not going to break off and it's not going to fall off. That's how strong and firm this thing is made. Now, as I told you before, we, we even provide you with tie belts. Now, use these tie belts to secure the pack. I'll show you how it's done for one. tighten it firmly into place. I've got a sample pack out here 
like this one. You see the timers and the pack is really firmly tied into place and the ends of the timers are chopped off. So that's how once you've made your connections for correctly and in the right manner, you secure the entire pack using the tie bits. You do or you do this entire process, place your terminal wires and solder it. Like in this one, we have done. Wires come out from the U clamps, solder the wires or just clamp them into place any which way you like and make a connection at the end. And that's how you use this kit to make your entire battery pack. So if you like this product, stay tuned and we've got plenty of more products for which we shall be uploading videos for the same. These are our contact details. Please feel free to contact us and do write to us with any suggestions and feedback and we shall reply back to you. We've got our website details as well as the email ID as well as our local contact number. Kindly feel free to contact us by either of any means and at any time and we shall definitely get back and reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you.